This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the TheCreativeDojo.net. Today we're talking Octane, Ember Gen FX, Cinema 4D, After Effects, New, Compositing 3D, and so much more. So for the first story, Otoy released a public preview version 1 of their Octane X. It is Octane built for Mac OS Catalina 10.15.6 and beyond, so with support for Big Sur in the future, Mac OS 11. And it's fully optimized for Apple's Metal Graphics API. As of right now, it's optimized for AMD Vega and Navi GPUs across the board with support for new GPUs in the future. This is awesome. Speaking of Otoy, Otoy and Jenga FX released a first public beta of Embergen FX, which is a real-time GPU simulation tool for fire, volumetric, smoke, and particles. This is awesome. It's fully interactive, real-time ray march volumes, procedurally based particles and fluid simulations with support for VDB, export, import, and much more. And the beta for the standalone version is available for free for all Octane render subscribers. Once it's out of beta, you can actually purchase the full version at a later date, which will support for all the other host applications like Cinema 4D and all that stuff. So Matthew Encina from The Future, who we've talked about before in the past, has another video showing us how he organizes his workspace for maximum productivity and efficiency. And I personally find myself way more productive and creative when my workspace is clean. This video is fun, it's aesthetic, and most importantly, it's inspiring. So get your workspace organized. Cool video by Matthew, check it out. Before we talk about the other stories, I wanna give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to create an amazing website with for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support, and best of all, you can use the promo code DOJO at checkout to actually save 10% off your order and support the DOJO. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash DOJO. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So the Foundry actually released a new version of Nuke called Nuke Indie. This is kind of like an in-between version between Nuke Non-Commercial and Nuke Studio, and it's aimed at independent and freelance professionals. So if you're not with the studio, you can't really afford the huge expense of Nuke Studio. You actually have a new version here for freelancers called Nuke Indie. It supports up to 4K exports, all core compositing nodes, Nuke X plugins, EDL and XML export support, and just in conform. There are some limitations like no third-party plugin support, no safe support for Nuke and Hero projects and gizmos. And it's gonna cost you around $499 a year and that's US dollars. If you wanna check out a kind of like a free version of Nuke, you can check out the Nuke non-commercial version which is actually free, you can try it out. There are a lot of limitations to it in 1080p max export and it's for non-commercial personal use only. But it's a great way to learn Nuke if you're a student and kind of just testing is that if you want to purchase uh, the Nuke Indie subscription or kind of get into Nuke that way. So it's a great way to learn. Check it out. Now, speaking of Nuke, we actually have another tutorial here by Anthony Thomas. He made a video for Action VFX showing you how to composite stock elements in Nuke to create this really epic Star Wars scene, completely CG. This has beautiful results and I can't believe this is purely CG, but it's a lot of really cool, great tips and tricks in this video. So if you're a Nuke user, or you're trying to learn Nuke, this is an awesome tutorial with you guys there. Action VFX is great. They are actually friends of the channel and you can actually download a lot of free, awesome stock elements, explosions, fires, bullet hits, muzzle flashes, all from Action VFX for free. So check it out. They have a lot of freebies, so go check them out. Now, if you're more of an After Effects and Cinema 4D user, Clinton Jones, AKA Punisher, which you might recognize from the Corridor Digital team, shares his full visual effects workflow on how to blend composite for VFX shots. He talks about shooting tips, tracking, modeling, lighting, texturing, and so much more in this video that he did for Maxon. He actually has a YouTube channel, which he does a lot of this stuff live on his live stream. So he shares a lot of his knowledge in Cinema 4D and building 3D objects and composite them in After Effects. So if you want, check out this video that he did for Maxon. Again, subscribe to his YouTube channel for a lot of awesome live streams where he does a lot of this stuff all the time. Clinton Jones, AKA Punisher. For our last story, we have Jason here who does a lot of work for FIFA, Major League Soccer, BBC, Foxtel, and other broadcast networks. And basically he covers how to build statistical based Mogurts templates for use in Premiere. So he built a lot of really cool animated name straps, pie charts, bar graphs. It's all completely rigged with data-driven templates and spreadsheets within After Effects. And he prepares them for streamlined use in Premiere. So if you're into this kind of stuff, if you're into creating a lot of infographic type stuff for sports or statistics, news, broadcasts, whatever it is, if you're in this field, you wanna learn more about it, check out this video series. This is awesome. And this is real world experience right here. It's a series available on the Maxim Volume Program channel. Absolutely free, it's a great series. And they have a lot of other great content on there as well. So check it out, 
All the links in this video will be posted down below in the video description. So that's pretty much it guys. This is kind of like a basic roundup of all of the new stuff that I've been looking at in the past couple of weeks or so. If you guys like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like these. Check it out. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.